Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are in the Garden of the Gods, and we're gonna deal with some Dorsies. We are gonna get what's coming to them. But first, there's some ammo boxes here. Uh, I wanna take me, because I have most awareness, I think. Everything. So I wanted the awareness for just in case there was was some booby trap there. All right, let's move out. Okay, so we should try and get in there. There's probably some nice stuff in there. Damn it. Aha. Uh, I did not see that. And now those two are really, really wounded. <sighs> okay. So she can... Use that on solo. Thanks, dude. And she can use it on herself. And she can use it on him. Nice save. Thanks. All right. We need our explosives, dude, which is Zeus, I believe. Yeah. Okay, disarm that. Let's repair that. And open the door. Let's see, what's in here? Computer. Some stuff on the ground. And the two lockers here. A lot of ammo and combat analysis processor. We'll loot all that. Electronic safe. Wires power. It has power, doesn't it? Didn't we repair this? Okay. How do we turn the power on? Oh. Uh. So, dynamic cross photon matrix, whatever that is. A Bellamy test and some pogs. All right. Uh, this is Bellamy Ward, PAL operational test number uh, 110. I've adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel, so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes! It's working! Energy storage is 12% above norm! This is better than I hoped! Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running into the batteries each day. For the first time since the deluge of fire, Colorado Springs will have all the electricity it needs. I can't wait to show this to Theo and Megan. They'll be so excited! Okay. So, <laughs> a frozen ferret launcher. The weapon type... Oh, the ammo type is frozen ferrets. That sounds unpleasant. Uh, but it does pretty damn good dam damage. And there are five frozen ferrets there. <laughs> then there's a razor box weapon mod. 
requires 10 weapon modding. That has to be one of the best uh, melee weapon mods there is. Then there's a Qmite history skill book. Can only be used once. The underground sport of hand to hand combat revealed. Uh, so we want to give that to a brawler. Okay. But how do we. Can't we. Can't we start this generator? Power it up. So it's powered up, but this is not powered up. We need we need some cable or something. Hmm. Maybe we need to close the door. Can't do that though. Okay, I have no idea why it's not. Uh, so we have this thing over here. Doesn't seem like I can interact with any of that though. It's a shame. Mm. Okay. That's it out, I guess. Need to be careful. Don't want to step on any more landmines. Okay, do you have explosives three new? Hidden path. Okay. We see anything up here? There's a Dorsey. And another Dorsey. And another Dorsey. Uh, let's walk over this way. Let's go through this hidden path. My uncle tells me you're a man of questionable morals, Mr. Kwan. Well, that's why I'm on the payroll. Somebody's got to get their hands dirty. So good folks like you can keep your heart Waste full. That's not how Colorado Springs works, Mr. Kwan. That's how okay. you work. Huh. I'm sure you know best. That looks nasty. I guess we'll take out those waste wolves and then get the high ground on these guys. So, we'll get Hawk up front. We'll set up Zeus up here. The Sia needs to come up in front and so does professor higgs and you see so yeah, you can get in here okay Zeus. what's your hit chance here it doesn't say I'm too far away that alpha guy down. Okay. Head. Body. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to click it. Damn it. 
This weapon's out of ammo. For now, you can try equipping a different weapon or unequipping it and going bare knuckle. Once you're out of combat, you can resupply by finding immersion. Okay, so we're out of energy cells or something. So... I guess we'll take that. Okay, Lucia. We're out of range. That's a good hit. Get back here. Let's take a shot at you. And then we have Marshal Kwan. And hopefully, we can finish that thing off. Nope. Damn it. I'm not sure I want Hawk to go up there. It's an ambush. And you can prepare. And you can prepare. In my field of fire. All right, so that was a good bit of damage to that thing. Okay, we're terrified. Which reduces the number of action points we have, it looks like. Uh, okay. Alright, that killed two of them. Yeah. Let's finish it off. Okay, we didn't take too much damage, so that was kind of nice. Uh, waste wolf fang, waste wolf paw, waste wolf pelt, wolf skull ornament, vehicle upgrade, hood ornament, nice. And muscle tissue. Vehicle upgrades. You've unlocked a vehicle upgrade. Return to AMJHQ to install it into the Kodiak. Okay. Uh, fang. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Okay, who is actually... Uh, do we have anyone? We have someone with some science or nerd stuff. Yeah, you. The interface for the photon application lens looks simple. Most routines are automated, but there are some controls you can adjust. Mm, install the dynamic cross photon matrix onto the lens. Press the button labeled adjust photon collection amount. Activate photon application lens. Remove a component labeled passive cross photon matrix. Install the dynamic cross photon matrix. There's a short hiss and the piece starts smelling of ozone. Probably not a problem. Probably. Okay. Photon collection is at its lowest setting. Currently reading 10 on the screen. An animated flower wears sunglasses and cringes from glaring sun rays. Mm, increase photon collection to its highest level. Twist a knob to the right and a low hum grows in strength. Activate it. A happy flower appears on, sc on the screen. It says, pal activated. Pal. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that took out one of them and the dog thing. I think. Oh, there. Well, there's a blood beast over there. We have one, two, 
three, four, five Dorsies and a Blood Beast. Okay. How about I come up here? Can I hit anything? I can. Then you come over here. Uh, you need to come up. Not enough action points. Let's move up here. She means she's melee, so. See ya. Can you hit from there? Out of range, out of range. Damn it. Okay. Let's send you over here then. Seuss. You can hit him quite well. Nice. He's dead. Come up here. And hit him. Higgins, or Higgs, I keep saying Higgins, come up here. Okay. Alright, we have some guys coming. They shouldn't have enough action points to do anything. Nice! Thing is dead. He's dead. Nice. That is awesome. So, Hawk, get up here and attack him twice. Nice. He's dead. Oops. Or Marshall Kwan it is. Alright. Oh, he has one left. Uh, 71% chance. Okay, he's dead. Are there any more? Oh yeah, there's one down there. Send you over here. And trick shot. Use one color fire handgun attack that has 50 minus 50% 50 hit chance. If this attack hits, you gain an instant plus three action points, and your strike meter is instantly filled. Okay. And what was the other one? Snapshot. Okay. Right, let's see. You can't ambush, unfortunately. Let's just get them back here. Um, defend. Ambush. 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 Okay. Who got hit? Less dead. He's dead. Finish. Nice. Okay. That went well. We have some scrap, some ammo, some muscle tissue, some wolf skull ornament, a scrap armor, plus four armor, scout pants, acidic sludge. Purified tar, frozen heart, acidic sludge, moldy sock, hog hunter, sniper rifle. Ooh, nice. Hey, some energy cells. Okay. We have a couple of level ups. We have a level up for Seuss and for Professor Higgs. All right. Zeus. Um, let's first 
because you are in the front line, so you are going to get these scout pens. That's only plus three armor, that's plus four armor. That's plus three armor. She is way in the front, so let's give her the better armor. And then he is in the front as well. So let's give you some armor. And we now have ammo for the pulse gun again. Very nice. All right, Zeus, perks, the guns, move up, establish the best opening position and you'll come out live. Gain 2 plus 0 0.5 combat speed on the first turn of combat while using big guns. Nice. Uh, keep their heads down and give your bodies a chance to move in. Uh, suppressing fire, five action points. Machine gun attack and consumes twice as many bullets. Enemies in the air take minor damage and are suppressed. Okay. Nerd stuff. Override side effect. All bleeps are permanently replaced with bloops. <laughs> Robot Jurak will now be attacked by other enemies. Okay. Explosives. Uh, fire resistance plus 20%. Explosive resistance plus 20%. Uh, required mechanic. Bonus damage to robots plus 20%. Bonus planners damage to vehicles plus 20%. That's kind of nice. Mm. I kind of like the suppressing fire. But it will take move up. Okay, attributes. Now let's do skills first. We'll get... Big guns four. We'll gain more pain. We'll get big guns four for sure. And then we have one point left. Which I think we'll put into explosives. Yeah. And then attributes. So, big guns, yeah, strength, I thought so, awareness and coordination. Action points max plus two. I kind of like that. Okay, then we have... Professor Higgs. Let's start with skills. I think we'll upgrade your small arms. They all cost two. We don't have anything... Uh, toaster repair plus one. Okay, so if we take that away... Uh, it still costs two, that's a shame. Okay, we'll upgrade that. Oh, we still have two. Why? Wait, undo changes. Ah, he has four skill points. Okay, so we can do that and that. We're definitely doing that. Mm. So that gives him five, four, three, and then with our toaster repair thingy, it gives him five, five, three. Very nice. Uh, attribute. Uh, I think I want to give you some luck. Two, four, six, yeah. So, plus one skill point ever, two intelligence. So, let's actually give you some intelligence. Get that up so that we're getting max skill points we can. 
I should have done that with Sallow as well. Because I want high intelligence on him. Perks. Shredder shot. Uh, fire shotgun shell that inflicts bleeding on anyone hit. Okay. Opportunist. Strike rate plus 5%. Okay. Like a trick shot, fire handgun attack that has okay. Then there's toaster repair. Toaster expert. Fixing broken toasters now yields bonus loot. That is pretty nice. And something that we should be getting as early as possible. Fixing broken toasters now yields toast. Weird science. Uh, charge your weapon, empowering it to, to deal bonus energy, cola fire damage on its next attack. Your weapon has a 5% chance of blowing up in your face. I think we'll go with toaster expert. Okay. Oh, good. Let's head down here. Uh, let's not uh, head down there so fast. Uh, I would not have head out down there so fast if, if I had everyone uh, selected. Ooh! Tactical armor, chest armor, plus five. Tactical armor, legs, armor, plus three. And tactical armor, helmet, crit chance, plus three percent. Armor, plus four. Loot it all. Um. Hmm. You know what? You get that. Very nice. And then you get that instead of that. This has plus one armor, plus two armor, plus three percent evasion. And then there's you. You get that. Do we have any mods? We do for uh, usable items. We got that book, didn't we? Um, yeah, there. But we, we're not going to read that with any of these guys. Alright, very nice. Very nice indeed. Is there anything else around here? There's that. And there's the booze box. So you can now disarm that send you over here. Let's do a quick save and disarm this mine. Uh, disarm the mine. Thank you. Where's light? Okay. And there's something here. Crushed heat sink, with laser emitter, scrap, and titanium plating. Okay. There's stuff over here. But uh, I think we'll take everyone and go, because it seems like that pit is interesting for everyone. The scent of charred meat and burnt hair wafts from the pit. Smoking bodies contorted by agony of post-mortem to a muscle contraction. Lie curled atop one another. Impossible. It is impossible to identify the corpses, but they appear to be both adults and children. Jesus. These Dorseys, man. And she stares at the, the bodies. Her knuckles are white on the grips of her guns, and her breath comes in light gasps, on, in little gasps. Uh, any sign of your family? No. Can't see a... a thing. Who would do this? Who would murder families and children? 
Who would burn them so badly that we can't even tell? I don't know if they're here or not. I can't... Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. Yes, I agree. Hmm, examine the bodies more closely. Near the edge of the pit, a child-sized corpse appears to be clutching something as if they were protecting it or hiding it. Take the bundle from the child's arms. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing. And to see it turns away, looking like she's going to be sick. Leave the bundle in the pit. Nothing else in the pit catches your attention. The bodies and not any other items that carried a burn beyond recognition. Okay. Man! Some nasty people doing shit here. Just want to see if there's any bombs here. It doesn't look like it. I guess it doesn't really matter who opens the grenade box. Some Molotov cocktails. Medic pack. Okay. Okay, there are some survivors here. And we're going to check them out uh, in the next one, guys, because we're out of time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.